A Home Affairs and Law Minister Kate Shanmugam has reiterated that the death penalty is still an effective deterrent against drug trafficking. He was speaking at a youth engagement session aiming to understand young perspectives. While acknowledging differing views, Mr Shanmugam says a majority of Singaporeans still support current policies. He also urged youths to be careful about online content that they consume. Let's say that's another 20, 30,000 lives saved from drugs. That's a lot of lives saved. You don't read about all this in the social media, do you? Nor do the activists tell you about any of these things. They put up the photograph of one person who is on death row and say, look at this cruel state that is going to kill this person. State-sponsored murder. They don't tell you about 20, 30,000 lives we have saved from drugs and certainly far more lives than the people who are on the death row. The minister also addressed questions about how strict laws have to be about the process and the process of granting clemency to death row inmates. He emphasised the need for a firm stand to ward off the adverse effects of drugs in society. And that includes Singapore's approach to cannabis. If we agree that it should not be legalised, then class one, class two, it becomes a question of judgement. As a policymaker, I'll keep it in class one because I find that People start with marijuana and cannabis, and if you are soft on it, they move on to heroin and fentanyl and other things. So that's why we take a tough position. 